we talk about the fog of war, but we can also talk about the fog of business in Japan. Find out more in today's show. Welcome back to year six of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which we release every Monday. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Carnegie, Tokyo franchise owner, master trainer, president of Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training, and three-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. Zaegyo is the translation of Japan Sales Mastery. My latest book is Stop Wasting Money on Training, and the Japanese translation is Training de Okane o Mudni Suru wa Yamimasho. We are bringing the show to you from our high performance center in Akasaka, in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? We are here to win in business in Japan. Let's all be at the forefront, at the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. This is episode number 291, leading to discover what is actually going on. So let's get going. Japanese people are famous for having learned over many centuries how to get along with others. High density living in the modern era and village communal agricultural activities in the past have both seeded probably the best example of how to have a complex but low friction society. Arguments, fights, road rage do occur, but compared to anywhere else, with such a large population of pressure cooker, Japan doesn't even rate as a contender for serious problems in this area. The concepts of tatemai, or profit reality, and honne, or actual reality, are a big part of creating that harmonious environment. Of course, as foreigners, we initially struggle with this separation of the real world and the imagined world. It can seem that Japanese people can be two-faced, saying one thing but doing another. Being the bearer of bad news really becomes an issue in Japan because no one ever delivers it. No shooting the messenger here because people have learnt to be extremely circumspect about how much they tell others and how they tell it. The language is an excellent tool for this because it is so excellent for vagary and obfuscation. Western society does the same thing, but we tend to notice it more here. At home, if your father-in-law has been on a seafood and eat it diet, but asks if you think he has lost weight, you are likely to plunge right into a tatemai answer that will tell him what he wants to hear. No unvarnished truth that he is obese and there is no difference from the last time you saw him, which would be the honne. So we do it in our own cultures as well, but Japan has institutionalized it. Being indirect, vague, circuitous are all admirable traits for Japanese communicators. Rude, unrepentant, bombastic Westerners, card-carrying members of the tell-it-like-it-is society have trouble with what they see as duplicious behavior. What do you do when people won't tell you the truth? How can you lead an organization when you don't know what is going on? And when bad news only ekes its way out when all efforts to hide it have failed? How can people be held accountable when you can't count on them to adhere to the internal rules around transparency? It gets worse, of course, when you are the boss, any boss in almost any culture, will be served up some form of tatemai simply because they are the boss. People want to tell you what you want to hear as a means of sucking up to you for some possible advantage or to avoid your wrath if all goes the wrong way. There are plenty of killed messages in the Western world and we have all learnt that this is a role to avoid whenever possible. Japan just takes it to the mastery level of a couple of notches further up. As the boss, how do we get to the bottom 
of what is going on. And if we can't rely on those who work for us to speak up, we have a few options available to us, however. Find a confidant who is plugged into what is really going on, who can tell you the truth. Be careful of the gaijin handler. This is the English-speaking Japanese staff member who uses their English communication facility to get close to power and to be a double agent. They may look like they are on your side, but actually they know you won't be around forever and they have to build powerful patrons from within to get that all important leg up to the top. They are there to feed you what others want you to know. Make sure you don't find out too much and keep an eye on you. It is hard to spot the difference between a confidant and a handler, but just be careful and keep your eyes open. Find out more, we come back from the break. If you want to be successful as a leader, do the Leadership Training for Managers course. All companies need people who can both manage and lead. Leading people screams out for real skills in communication, dealing with all different types of people, being excellent at innovation, planning, delegation, handling mistakes, doing performance reviews really well, and inspiring and motivating the team. Do the Leadership Training for Managers course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. A better method is to be a great boss. Be the boss people can trust and will not feel fear of whenever they have to talk truth to power. You might imagine that is you already. However, wasn't it you who erupted when the target achievement was poor or the deadline was missed or someone did something dumb? Never forget, everyone is watching the boss like a hawk. How does the boss react to bad news? What happens when the pressure is really on? Does the bon vivant, the boss, become a monster? Keeping calm, no matter what, takes courage, patience, and practice. Building a personal relationship of trust with staff means making time available for them. The boss who can't manage their time or can't delegate is just a leaf being blown around by the winds of busyness. These bosses can't coach and can't create real relationships because they don't have the time. Let's avoid this fate and make the time and get busy working on time management and delegation skills. Also, let's work on our communication skills around clarity and being concise. We found in our research that high engagement levels are not an accident of fate. They are created through the boss taking specific actions to build a relationship with the staff that translates into having more honne conversations and less tate mai substitutes. When that trust is established, then you will find out what is really happening. The way to build those high engagement levels is to make staff feel valued. However, those educated and raised in the staff are expendable tradition will struggle with this one. They think staff are there to produce numbers and it is my way or the highway around here because I have responsibility for the numbers. Thank you very much. They will never know what is really going on within their team. Instead, make the time to talk with the staff, find out what motivates them, become their assistant to make what they want happen. Back them, praise them, support them, and good things start to happen. Making people feel valued is a science, but it can be very wearing. Start with your true intention. What is it? Snow the punters, 
or actually establish a real relationship based on trust. Get this right at the outset and you will be in a much better and more credible position. Okay, you may never find out all that is going on just because you are the boss and this is Japan and you can't read the air. However, you will get a much better clue and will be infinitely better informed than your contemporaries at other Geishke multinational companies. When you arrive in Japan to lead the operation, you are dispatched to a lake. A heavy fog has descended on this lake and you are swimming around looking for the best direction forward. You can hear noises and make out indiscriminate shapes, but not much more. After a couple of years of this, the fog begins to lift ever so slightly. And now you can see the shore and a bit of an island maybe. As things start to clear finally, you are sent home or onto your next post. The way to get out of the fog earlier is to understand how Japan works. The locals are not about to change it anytime soon and certainly not to suit transient you. Create staff members who feel empowered by you. Make them feel valued in a sincere way. Make the time to communicate and to build the relationships. The fog will lift and Tatenai and Hone will just be cultural steps to succeeding in Japan rather than roadblocks imperiling your meteoric rise to the top. Except the boss is always the boss and the getting perfect full disclosure will never happen no matter what. Action steps. One, understand we have our own versions of tatemai on hone. Two, be careful of the gaijin handler. Three, keep calm and never show your emotions, especially anger in front of the team. Four, work on building their trust in you. Five, Make the time available to build good relationships with your staff, regardless of how busy you find yourself. Number six, accept that as the boss, you will never find out what is really going on in Japan anyway. That is the Honne. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and so please subscribe on YouTube. Share with your family, friends, and colleagues. Become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. It's packed with value, so certainly check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcasts Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business of Tatsujin no Oshie show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews. Now you get these wherever you get your podcasts. Also, every Monday, we release the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro TV Show. And every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, every Saturday, we are releasing Japan's top business interviews. These are all on YouTube. We appreciate your support and please let others know about it. So they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And so please join with us in that endeavor. In episode number 292, we we're talking about getting your visuals right, part one. So yoroshiku, onegai tashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you We've only got one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.